Hey everyone, today's review is on the 2020 movie Wonder Woman 1984. So the plot of this movie is where many decades after the first movie, Diana's back and she has her still has her career as the superhero Wonder Woman and she finds out that this ancient artifact goes missing and it's being taken by this wealthy businessman named Maxwell Lord played by Pedro Pascal who's kind of a he's an entrepreneur not an entrepreneur but like a business executive in advertising and he decides to use it for his own good and so Wonder Woman has to try and stop him and also try to stop another super villain named Cheetah played by Kristen Wiig and she has to go around and save the day yes I liked this movie is it is it as good as the first one not entirely, but I still had a lot of fun with it. I watched this movie uh, over the weekend. Sadly, I didn't get to see it in theaters. This is the only DCEU movie I didn't see in theaters. Well, aside from the Snyder Cut, but that's obvious because that's not in theaters. But I had a lot of fun with it. Sure, there is some campy stuff. But it's very minimal, like very minimal. It's mostly in the beginning. And plus, I didn't really mind it. In fact, it kind of paid tribute to the Silver Age of Wonder Woman comics, and it takes place in the 80s. So it really, I can understand the vibe they're going for. It was more artsy. And Gal Gadot, she's still perfect as Wonder Woman. Uh, Pedro Pascal, I actually didn't mind him as Maxwell Lord. I... He's a good actor. I like him in The Mandalorian. I should review that show sometime. Uh, Kristen Wiig is Cheetah. She's not as bad as I thought she was going to be, honestly. I'm not the hugest fan of her, because when I heard she was not, I was like, what, she's playing Cheetah? No. But she was okay. I mean, she isn't Cheetah in her Cheetah form throughout a lot of the movie, but when she's there, she's pretty cool. I did have a lot of fun with it, and... It, sure, there's not a whole lot of action, but there's still quite a bit, and I was entertained. I know some people didn't like it, but I had fun with it. I think it's, like, for my DCEU ranking, I think it's, like, slightly under the first one, but I th think it's a really entertaining movie. I really liked it. If you like the first one and want to see a somewhat different, but still familiar, still kind of has a similar vibe to the first well not really but with you know what I mean and it's definitely a good follow-up to the first one and I've had a lot of fun with it and I think it's worth a shot it's not boring you and the action it's fun it's it's good and it's it doesn't really feel that long it's very fast-paced so Wonder Woman 1984 yeah I had a lot of fun with it I mean if you don't like it that's fine but I I was very entertained, so that's my review Wonder Woman 1984. Catch you later.